What is going on, everybody? This is Sheets, and I'm in, I'm going to be doing an early look, early lineup build for the uh, showdown slate this evening. It's one of the more unique showdown slates we've seen um, because the team total is 30, which is the lowest uh, in quite some time. So you have sort of the obvious approach that people will take, um, which involves playing defenses and, and playing for a, a low scoring type of game. And that certainly makes a lot of sense. Um, but if everybody's going to play that way, does that mean that we should play another way? And these are kind of the rhetorical questions that might actually be actual questions that always need to be answered in all forms of DFS. So for now, what we're going to do is just do an early lineup build and see what we get. Okay. And what that means is we're going to upload our projections. We're going to decide whether to bump guys or leave them the same. Then we are going to, you know, run lineups with just the Saber score. We're going to run lineups with the contest sims. We're going to decide how unique we want to be. And we're just going to mess around and just kind of see. I haven't really looked at any of it yet. So we're doing this kind of live. So first thing we're going to do is we have to upload our player projections. Now we could use the, I mean, for, for showdown, I mean, probably could do just as well with just the Saber Sim uh, projections, but may as well try to, um, may as well try to get exact. Now you'll see that there's nothing projected for the captain. That's just kind of a, a weird thing when I first, when I upload them first, and then I um, uh, I set it to uh, exclude unlisted players. And then you got to do it again and include them. It's, it's kind of strange, but nonetheless. So you'll see already, I mean, look at, look at some of these projections for some of these guys. I mean, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be tough to not play defense and captain, but we're going to try. Let, let, let's see what we come up with here. First thing we want to do is just take a look at the bottom of the barrel and see if we want to eliminate anybody with a projection. Um, okay, the first guy that I I um, I see that I have a zero for is Ty Montgomery. Um, now see now here's the thing like if here's the, uh, the caution if you put a guy in your player pool that has a Sabres in projection and you play MME you're gonna get some the way that we play here. You know, if you're playing for unique lineups, if there's a guy that's got any kind of projection and you put him in your pool, you're going to get some. Um, so be be aware of that. Um, so what we're considering is is really whether we're getting any time on government because even if we give him only one point, he's just going to show up. So let's let's uh, let's give him one. Then you have Pharaoh Brown and you have Miles Boykin. Like these guys at 0.66, we're gonna have to use all these guys. So we want to give both them not much. We'll give them a one. And let's see, Darnell Washington. We had him with zero, but no, he's in the. You know, uh, we'll we'll use him. And we made the mistake of of not using all these guys that didn't show up uh, for us last week when we intentionally didn't use Parker Washington. He had a 0.67 projection, but after the injury, that was obviously good enough. All right, so those are the those are the little tweaks that we did. I don't want to make any assumptions about how this game is going to go. Uh, I just want to kind of keep the projections the way they are, at least for you know at first. The other thing I want to do is I want to put my min salary all the way down to forty thousand, just in case. And. The next question is whether I want to run 2,000 lineups or 5,000. And there's a reason. Because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to filter these down by, by ownership or geometric mean. And the question I want to have answered is, am I willing to take the 5,000th lineup? Because if you really you know get become a stickler for uniqueness, that might be what you end up with. Or should we make sure that at least it's in the top 2,000 lineups? Now, I'll warn you that if you do that, you, you run the risk of, no, it's not the risk. You run the risk of, of not getting any lineups that are as unique as you want and then putting yourself in the decision of whether you want to expand the pool 
you have to rerun it. Um, for now, let's do the full 5,000 lineup build. We'll build 100 lineups. We're going to make no other changes. Everybody's eligible for captain. Everybody's eligible for, for the flex. Everybody's eligible for everything. Now, this is going to take a little while, um, so I am going to I'm going to pause this and let you know when this is done, and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the 100 lineups that we just rated by Sabre score. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload these to the contest, right? and I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um, we're not going to end up with these, and Obviously, we're not going to end up with any of this because we're going to redo everything later. But we're going to we're going to save all these to the contest. We'll duplicate these. But part of the reason we're doing this is I would like to add these contest sims settings. And when you save anything to a contest, these this this comes up that allows you to just right click and save these settings so that you can run your contest sims a lot easier. Spy. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we will uh, we'll X out of this. We'll, we'll, first thing I want to do is I want to download these entries just in case I just forget. At least I have something in there. Better than dummy lineups, right? Okay. Um, so now um, let's run our contest sentence. And again, what, what, we're doing ostensibly is uh, or apparently or allegedly is we are running our lineups against the fields of lineups that Saberson believes will be played in the contest that we've identified. And they calculate that by using number of metrics, mostly uh, ownership and the number of players entrants that are in these tournaments and, and the prize structure. So it's trying to optimize the, the, of your pool of 5,000 lineups, which of them are more suited to each particular contest. Now, before that happens, it's, it's, it's worth noting that you see I've got a lot of Steelers, captain ownership, as I kind of described. I don't see any Patriots captain ownership, which is interesting. All right, so we ran all these. And the first thing I want to do is I want to sort these by... Let's run a... Uh, let's let's deal with the, uh, the, the, uh, the MME first. Let's deal with the lottery. So Thursday night showdown, 300K for first. We will sort these by risk-adjusted ROI. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the minimum. What I've done up to this point is the minimum that you should do. You know what I mean? Like you've got to be able to at least get to this point in the analysis or in the use of the tools before you can proceed. Um, because, listen, we, we've given you a good base with the projections, and if you're using Saberson, that's this is an easy process that I just went through that can get you to this point, which is, remember, we've used the projections, we built lineups. We had Saberson rate them by Saber score, which is you know, usually a pretty good subset of a set of up, upside lineups. Then we ran a uh, contest in hitting those lineups against what they, the field is doing. And so we re-rate, we re-ranked all of our lineups by what rates to be the best ROI or risk-adjusted ROI against that field of lineups. So at this point, you have a good set. I have no problem with you putting these in. But if you really want to have some fun uh, and you want to try to get unique and try to not just win, you know, have good ROI lineups in this, you know, in this lottery, but actually try to win the 350 or more, or I mean, or just a little less, you have to do a little bit with this lineup set to make it less dudes. Okay. Um, so what do we do? Well, we do our geo mean filtering. Now, again, let's, 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 let's talk for a second. There are two ways to make, well, probably others, but two main ways to make lineups unique. One is to play low owned players because low owned players lead to low owned lineups. Make sense. The other way to play is you could play high owned players but leave salary on the table, and remember, remember why this, why there's a difference, right? Well, how can you, how can you get unique line of set of high owned players? Well, because remember, sometimes guys are high owned, 
because of what they provide in the rest of your lineups. In other words, let's take, I don't know, what's an example? Uh, let's take a guy who's 200, you know, or some something cheap who's going to be pretty high owned. I don't know, like uh, Taekwon Thornton. I don't know. Well, let's give you an example. Let's say there's a $200 guy who's going to be 40% owned. The reason why he's 40% owned is not because he's so great, but because he accesses you to a $10,000 guy, right? And so, so if you had 10 of those $200 guys that were all going to be 50% owned, right, because of what they do for the rest of your lineups, you could put all eight of them, for example, or 10 of them in the lineup together. And while they'll look like 40% owned guys or 50% owned guys, that whole lineup will be like 0% owned because no one's going to put them all together. Why? Because their, their projection is going to be low. The only reason they'd be high as far as ownership is because of what you could pair them with. So that's another thing you could do is play higher on guys, but leave money on the table. Okay. So we'll experiment with both for this particular slate. Um, so first of all, as far as playing low on guys, the way you do that just with no other screen is by using the geo mean filter. So we have to figure out what that number is for this slate. Um, so we have our calculator here. Here's the formula. If you guys want to look at it, um, six players in a showdown lineup. How many entrants are going to be in this one? That is probably going to be a lot, which is 98,039 participants, 98,039. And if you want to get basically one dupe, you're talking about a geometric mean of under 15. Um, and that's going to be really difficult to do, but let's just see. Let's see if with any of these 5,000 lineups, have a geometric mean of less than 15. Geo mean, less than 15. I'm going to guess no. Let's see. The answer is 17. Okay, so of the of the of the five thousand lineups that we made, seventeen of them have a geometric mean of fifteen. So if you want to get unique, meaning of solo, whatever solo shipper, whatever you call it, solely by, um, you know, playing the low owned plays, not worrying about salary, I can find you seventeen lineups. Now we're going to keep these okay? So we're going to play it. Okay. But it should tell you something, right? <laughs> um, that it's hard and it's hard to get low on plays that have a chance to win. Um, now we are going to probably play these. I'm probably not even going to look and see what they are, but that's the first thing I would do. Probably save these into my favorites. So I don't forget. But then what I think is probably a good idea is to do is maybe get a little less greedy and essentially see what's the lowest geo mean I can request that will give me a hundred lineups. And there's no way to do that from soft with software. We just kind of have to have to grind it here. So let's see if we do 16. Is that good for me? Now we only get 27. Let's see. Um, let's go to 18. 18 gets you 75. That's pretty good. And then I presume that 19, oops, 19 should do the trick. So if you set your geometric mean for 19, then you can get 100 lineups that fit. Um, save these to favorites and i presume there's just going to be 100 in there because i presume that they're all you know those first 17 were were captured again right makes sense um so let's see what we've done so what is a 19 geometric mean correspond to so that means is that let's see that we're about, we're now asking for a five dupes max and that's really good. OK, 
Padres. So I, I think that this is a pretty good way to play kind of right off the bat. Now, again, it's important to not look and see what you're getting, honestly. But just if you want to get really – it's going to make you throw up, but you want me to click the captain, see what this gets you? Yeah, let's see. Uh, this isn't that bad. It's not that bad at all. And what's good about it is you're only getting 6% Steelers captain, which is exactly what you want. You don't, you don't, you don't want to play these defenses and captains today. You just don't want to. You want, you want to, you want to be different. And I kind of like it. How, how about the Miles Boykin and the captain? Let's go. Probably not even going to play a single snap. We're, we're, we're here for it so to speak. And if he returns kick somehow, then you get the, the Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh defense and the kick return equity together. That's pretty fun. So I kind of like this, actually. Should I be greedy? Should I try to go for two uniques? It's going to really yell. That's right. Oh, we can even do it with two uniques. Oh, let's go. Or not. No, okay, not to, not to be too greedy. All right, fair enough. We're gonna save these. Let's 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 just let's just put these. Forget even the favorites. We're gonna put these right in, right now, just so that we're we're here. We're gonna put them. We're gonna put them in here, which is the the lottery. And I'm pretty sure we also have to put them in this in this one too, right? Yeah. So let's do that. We'll have to duplicate. Fair enough. That's pretty cool. Now, if you didn't want to do that, let's run one with leaving money on the table instead. The problem is, is I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how many to leave, how much to leave. Um, but let's, I don't know, add filter and I, I don't know, what is 48.9 maybe? I, I just, I'm sure we can get plenty. So what this is doing is getting all the guys that you've heard of, but leaving money on the table. And this is certainly is certainly reasonable. But I just don't know. You know what I mean? I just don't know. Now again, what you, I guess one of the things you could do is combine these, like put 48.9 and then a little less of a of a geometric mean uh restriction. Like how about but that that that's 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 typically hypocritical, right? Like twenty. It, it, this is not really helping me. I mean, it's helping me, but it's 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 being random almost because the geo mean filter really doesn't have much to do with it if you're leaving money on the table. Because as I mentioned, you could be getting, you know, uh, high point per dollar plays with terrible projections that are just showing to be high owned that you're leaving money on the table with. Um, But I think this is like something like this is better than nothing, right? So what, what do we have here? Two filters, right? We have a, a geometric mean filter of what, 30, I said, or 25, plus leaving money on the table. So the only thing that this doesn't do for you is it doesn't get you those high salaried lineups that can be low owned. So I don't want to give those up, okay? Um, so what, what set to use? Hey, I knew completely the answer probably keep it to myself honestly but these are the different things that i try you know uh and i think this is a good way to use the tools at your disposal to maybe get unique and build sets and and then when the, the results come out about who's got the most uniques and whatever that's all i care about i mean what, what my expected roi is of the tournaments that i'm that i'm that i'm playing of the lineups i'm playing you know not what's most likely to win and that's how you have to judge success is not at the end of the day, not at the end of the slate. It's at the beginning of the slate. Once slate locks and the ownerships are in, that's when you can judge how well you do. So um, we will continue to plow along. And uh, I want to do the others first. Sorry about that. Let's do the other the other tournaments. But that was, that was such a great summary too. But let's do the two-point conversion. We're going to sort this by risk-adjusted ROI. But again, we still want to do 
the um, the GeoMe filter of some kind, but there's only 10,000. Is that right? Hang on. Uh, contest sim settings. Okay, where are they? Contest sim settings for the two point conversion. There are 2,002 in that. So let's pull this up. 2002, and this will definitely have to go for one, two. 28 geometric mean and, uh, ooh, all right, so we can't, we don't want the, the optimal. We want to do the, uh, we don't want the top saber score one. We want to do a filter. I like that. Geo mean, less than 28. Boom. Excellent. You know what I like about this the most? It's not have the Steelers defense. Not that I want to be uh, biased or anything. We'll save that to there. Let's go into the spy. We'll do the same thing. And how much is in the spy? Um, before I forget. Spy is 1111. So let's... 31 geo mean. Now there, there's something, there's another problem here. You haven't figured it out yet, I will tell you. One issue is that the ownership in these contests are different. <laughs> um, and yet the geo mean is filtering for that one ownership projection that we looked at. So sorry about that, but that's the way that goes. Um, What was this, the spy? Spy, I'll put this here. And then we'll do the red zone. Where's red zone? Red zone, single entry. And how many were in that one? Eleven thirty-six. So it's the same, pretty much. About thirty-one. Let me just make sure this is nope. So we need to filter this for geo mean of thirty-one. I mean, you definitely want to be unique in the single entry. That's what I love about all this is that. Is that we're not uh, we're not playing this really that much of the Steelers defense in the cap. All right, so let's uh, download all this stuff, upload these, and that's this is a good start. Now we're going to change this four hundred times, but that's uh, that's kind of the deal. I'm not. I don't think I'm playing FanDuel tonight, uh, so there's nothing to do there, and uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.